Hi, this is Jen with Making the Photo. In this video, I take a deep dive into Midjourney's upscaling commands, looking at the variations that occur depending on which upscaling option you choose, and also what happens if you upscale more than once. I was working with an image created on Midjourney the other day and was surprised to see variations in how the image looked depending on how I upscaled it. Coming from the photography world where I can take hours to post-process every detail of an image, I am obsessed with details. These were driving me crazy. To me, upscaling means to make something larger. But Midjourney's algorithms don't just resize the image, they affect the look of the image. If you want to make your images larger, see my video on resizing your images for print. Let's take a look at how the images vary when you upscale and how to take advantage of these variations to make your image stronger. I'm going to date stamp this episode. Midjourney AI is still in beta testing. They are changing things all the time. While I was making this video, they dropped the remaster option. By the time you watch this video, the upscale features may have stabilized or changed completely. Let's go through the upscale options you currently have in Midjourney. When you input a prompt in Midjourney, it returns a grid of four images. You can upscale one of them or all of them by clicking the U1, U2, U3, or U4 buttons. Your initial upscale is 1024 pixels square if you're using the default aspect ratio. Upscale to the max makes an image of 1664 pixels square. You can also choose light upscale redo, beta upscale redo, and as of the end of August 2022, Remaster. Which upscale option you select changes the look of your image and sometimes the file size. Let's start with upscale to max. Just a note that the upscale to max only works in the fast mode. Right away you'll start to notice variations in your image. The main shapes stay the same, but the details change. In this image, the flower detail changes as well as the overall texture. The other upscale options also change details in your image. Light upscale redo upscales again, but adds fewer details. You can jump directly to using this upscale option by using the uplight switch. Beta upscale redo upscales again and uses a different algorithm and creates a larger file size. You can jump directly to using this upscale option by using the up beta switch. Remaster is Midjourney's newest tool. This algorithm returns a very different look. It's not just the details that change this time, but the shapes and the look of your image. Beta and Remaster return the largest file size at 2048 pixels square. I was really interested by the details that change during the upscaling. If you take a closer look, the marginalia changed content and shape. The flower detail also changed style. Both Uplight and Upbeta have the additional upscale option, Detailed Upscale Redo. This returns a highly detailed version of your image. Theoretically, you can keep upscaling indefinitely. You can choose Beta Upscale, then Light Upscale, then Detailed Upscale, then Light Upscale again, and on and on and on. I asked Midjourney to give me a flowchart, and this is what it came up with. Let's fill in some gaps. You can beta upscale and then choose light upscale redo or detail upscale or upscale to the max. Or you can start with light upscale, then choose beta upscale, detail upscale or upscale to the max. If you detail upscale, you can then up beta or up light and on and on and on. The upscale option you choose makes a difference to the final image. But does it make a difference if you send your image through many different upscale options? Does it make a difference to what order you choose? I sent my image through three different combinations of upscaling options to see what happened. I did them in different orders. I did beta upscale redo, then light upscale redo, then upscale to the max. I did beta upscale, light upscale, then detail upscale. I did beta, detail, beta, light, beta, detail. None of the images came out the same. They all had variations. The last upload variation often had the most effect, but the end result was influenced by the upscaling that came before. Take a look at the variety in one corner of the image. 
I like the clean lines in some of the versions. I like the textures in others. The marginalia was best here. The flowers were better there. At first, I didn't know what to do with this. I like some parts of one version and some parts of another. I tried this process again with another image. This one was a bit more fanciful than graphic. The changes were minor, but for an artist, details are where the magic happens. I set the remastered images aside. Remaster has a strong effect on the image and even a stronger difference when paired with another upscaling mode. It was all a bit overwhelming. In the end, I took a few of my favorite versions into Photoshop and used blend modes and layer masks to keep the parts that I liked from each version. The upscale modes in Midjourney all have different strengths. Each works well on different types of images and with different aesthetics. If you create an image that you like, but want to vary the details, use the upscale modes. Upscale two, three, even four times. You will probably see variations in the details. It's in these details that your artistic vision will really shine. This is Jen at Making the Photo. Let's make something beautiful. <laughs>